I don't even recognize who I am anymore when I look in the mirror. That's heavy. Before we get into that concept or that feeling, let me pause and introduce myself. Hi, my name is Marissa Senia, and I am a freedom coach. I work with women who are feeling trapped in unhealthy relationship dynamics by providing strategic guidance and resources so they gain the confidence, clarity, and support that they need in order to make a peaceful exit from relationship dynamics that no longer serve them. And so today I want to talk about a question that I get often in this work, and it's, how will I know when it's time for me to leave this relationship? What are the signs? What am I looking for? Is it just another bad day and maybe I'll get over it? Um, will it be better tomorrow or next week or next month if I just hang in there? Those are very common questions and feelings that a lot of women who are feeling trapped or have been in toxic relationships can attest to. You are in a cycle and with a cycle, not every day is a bad day. In fact, you can have times of great euphoria. You can have times when it feels like you may have dodged you know, the hiccup, the really, really tough time that, you know, your relationship recently experienced. And finally, things are looking up. Finally, you know, maybe you're going out again and um, there are pleasant exchanges between you and your partner. So you can't possibly c consider leaving, right, when it feels like you are in a cycle of good times. Um, but the reality is you've been there before. That's what it means to be in an unhealthy relationship dynamic. It means that even the good times that you have, you recognize them, right? But they become fleeting. They don't last. And invariably, the pendulum will swing the other way, back to the toxicity, back to the harsh exchange of words that can't be taken back, back to the feeling of suppressing your own needs, back to the self-betrayal, and back to that very moment that this video started with, in front of a mirror, looking at yourself, and no longer recognizing who is staring at you, the person in the mirror, okay? So when is it time to move on? Well, ultimately, you're the only person that can decide when it's time, but I will share some indicators, some strong indicators that can let you know that mm, it might be about that time to to call it to call it a day on this one and this is in no particular order but um you know just something to unpack as you know i really thought this through and having had to walk with women through this and myself through this you know so i would say that when you are consistently relieved to be away from your partner right you are just like okay Great, you're going to work, oh, work trip, oh, time away with the boys, oh, great. Whatever it is, anytime you are getting that sense of relief and or you are going away or you have the opportunity to be away from the relationship um, and that is something you anticipate, you're looking forward to being away, that's probably a, a strong tell that uh, all is not, not only not right at home, but this is a pattern, right? This is not the first time you've felt this way and most likely you will feel this way again. 
And uh, so that's something to pay attention to. That's a strong indicator when you're consistently feeling that sense of relief. And invariably, what does that mean? So if you're relieved when the person is away, when they return, you're probably not happy about that. You're probably suppressing feelings and just going to make the best of the situation when you're home with this person again. That's probably what it means. Okay. So the other one, the other, the other thing that I would suggest is what we started off with. When you are feeling lost and no longer recognize who is staring at you when you look at the mirror, you, you feel like you've lost yourself. And that's an indicator, right? Because obviously you know who you are when you look at yourself in the mirror, you know it's you, but it, that feeling of not recognizing yourself means that you're probably lost in this relationship. You're overgiving. It's non-reciprocal. There isn't this getting back. There is probably a sense of boundaries that are, that are weak, right? Um, you're not setting consistent, firm boundaries or you're going back on your own boundaries because you're just trying to hold on to some semblance of peace in the household. So ultimately, you're looking at yourself and you're like, I don't know who this person is. That is also a strong indicator that uh, all may not only not be well, but it might be tough to repair this. And obviously at moments and times like this, interventions have been taken, right? We've looked into, um, you know, third party support, getting counseling, therapy, uh, getting the community of trusted uh, advisors that you have in your life or in your collective lives together. There has been some sort of, you know, attempts at intervention. This isn't just happening and you're casually considering an exit. I know most women who are in this position do not consider an exit at the first sign of trouble or, um, you know, the 15th sign, to be honest, or the 50th. It has to be a pattern. It has to be a pattern for a woman to finally say, you know what? I have about had it. I am about here. The math isn't mathing anymore in this relationship. And then I think the uh, other piece that I would uh, suggest to pay attention to um, is when it feels like remaining in the relationship becomes a consistent act of self-betrayal. Self-betrayal. Um, you know what your core needs are, your values are, right? Um, you want to be treated with dignity and respect you want to be in a place that, in a home environment where there's an exchange and there's a sense of trust and there's a sense of loyalty and honesty and open communication. Um, and, you know, this partnership, there's a, there's a sense of partnership. We are working together. We are a team. We are not working apart or, or there isn't somebody uh, proactively sabotaging the relationship, for example, or maybe not working towards it at all. Maybe you're the only one. Whatever the series of situations, you know, are that you're dealing with at home, you know when you are when you are betraying your truth, your set your set of core values that you need. Um, to, to live in a healthy home dynamic, especially with a partner, um, especially if you have a family. But regardless of the situation, as, as a woman, when you are consistently saying no to the things that are absolutes for you, that you value, to being respected, okay? Um, having truth, sense of honesty, um, dignity, these core values and more that we could list that you require to have a healthy relationship. When it's not happening and yet you consistently show up, um, there's a, that's an act of self-betrayal because now you are clearly in an environment that no matter what the intervention that has been suggested, um, it's not going to change. 
So when you see a series of these things, right, happening, um, and there isn't an answer, right, there isn't a solution, um, there isn't a collaborative solution coming forward, but in fact, the pendulum keeps swinging harder back to the toxic cycle and, um, and you're more miserable every time, it may be time to make some hard decisions. Okay. So I'm gonna end there, and just to give you something to think about, uh, we all know uh, somebody that may have been in you know, a difficult, unhealthy relationship pattern, even if it, if it wasn't us. Um, we know family members, we have friends, um, we are part of communities where we have seen that in other people's lives. And sometimes it's easier to pinpoint situations in somebody else's lives than it is to kind of take a look at our own lives. And so that would be, you know, something that I would encourage you to do is to, to consider um, a moment or an instance where you saw something in another relationship dynamic that gave you pause. Um, consider what that was for you and why you had that sort of reaction to it. Okay. So I will end there for now. I look forward to hearing your comments and your feedback. If this type of content resonated with you, please like and share and subscribe to the channel. And also definitely share with a woman that you think would benefit from this type of material. And until next time, keep well.